It sounds like a thousand blimps deflating at once. Good morning, good afternoon. Welcome to an Enigma. This is, or was, is a 2008 uh, Toyota RAV4. It's got a 3.5 liter V6, five speed. You know, this was your crossover before the word uh, was so popular. And it made about 260 horsepower, weighed about 3,500 pounds. Uh, what Giovanni's done, if you've seen his bonus video, go watch that, you'll get a, a more detailed explanation of this car, is taking everything out of it and then put a bunch of stuff in the engine. So now we've got a supercharger, heat exchanger, oil catch can, um, new ignition system, new ECU, plugs, battery, exhaust, suspension, brakes check the description below for like the full list of mods because it's huge you would scroll through like the credits for avatar i think giovanni's got an interesting story and a lot of dedication behind this and it although it looks like it's been stripped for parts it's actually all like incredibly spick and span and clean so we're gonna take this for a drive and see what this circus animal is all about because this is uh this is real weird I don't know, Matt, Matt drove a modded RAV4 and said it was amazing. And so, here we are. Okay, it's real quiet. idling through the car. So one, that's how loud it is. Two, that's how little sound editing is in here. There is nothing left in this car other than the actual switches that control the functions. I mean, there's not even a panel. Like, he got rid of the door cards and the door handle and now has nowhere to hang the window switches. So they're just hanging by a uh, zip tie. The control to move the mirrors is on the ground, as are a bunch of other wires, probably to, oh, to control the passenger seat that is no longer needed. This is a fascinating, fascinating experiment in, I was given a car, I want to modify cars, let's see what we can make from this. I mean, this is, this is making dinner from leftovers that you did not cook. Giovanni's parents gave him this car as a hand-me-down. They're like, here. And his dad said, take care of this car and it'll take care of you. So it's really clean and really well maintained. But Giovanni's friends were into modifying cars. And so Giovanni said, well, I don't want to spend the money to buy a new car. I can modify this one. And he's done it in a way that I don't think Toyota, Lotus, me, you, anybody expected would ever happen. pretty good it pulls pretty good I mean that you know it downshifts slowly as you'd expect for an old five-speed uh, but once it kind of gets in the power band it it pulls okay it's not crazy fast it's not crazy fast at all he hasn't dynoed it yet so we don't know how powerful it is um, I'm driving slower right now because you won't be able to hear me I'll go faster on the way up so the story of this hand-me-down car wanted to make do some mods Giovanni is really into uh, the Air Force military aircraft and specifically, he brought up the Tuskegee Airmen, who, while they're well known for flying P-51s, uh, were actually kind of cut their teeth flying like P-40, I'm gonna get this wrong, P-41 Warhawks, I think. So basically, they were a group of people who succeeded well, no matter what they were given to fly. And that's kind of what he wanted to do. He's like, look, I don't have a sports car, but let's see what I can do with this, because this is what I'm given. And I think that's pretty rad. Uh, there's a lot of people on this show that have that same idea. You know, what do you have? What can you do with it? Well, if you're creative and you look up parts numbers and you look up engineering and fitment, you can do quite a lot. <laughs> it's so silly. Like, it makes no sense. But it also makes sense because cars are silly. I mean, you know, think of the guys that had... Uh, the team buckets back in the 50s with, you know, an engine that was three times the size of the car. 
that's kind of that's the same idea. You need to be a little bit crazy to build a tea bucket with that much power. You need to be a little bit crazy, I think, to build this because it's a weird place to start. I mean, you've, you just imagine you are Lotus or a shop that builds Lotus engines and you get a call from a guy who's like, hey, I have the same engine block as you in a RAV4. Uh, will your parts bolt up to it? And like, yeah, technically. Great, thanks, bye. We have a science experiment. We have an exploration of car culture, um, effort, and interests. And I think that's what's cool about this show and cars in general is whatever you're into, you can kind of express that through your vehicle. And um, this is a very strong example of that. And so now I'm gonna drive fast and make a bunch of noise. You won't hear me, I won't hear me, and I'll be deaf. Sounds like a thousand blimps deflating at once. Okay, obviously it has understeer on power. something they can paint something it's strange and uncomfortable um, I don't even know what to say it's so weird I mean it looks like all the parts are gone it looks like it, it looks like it's being put back together but he loves it and it's weird and interesting and uh, stops and turns surprisingly good <laughs> it does um, I'm gonna go pour Novocaine in my ears now so uh, check out the podcast, the Spoken Tire Podcast. Buy our shirts on Blipshift. And, you know, some of you are probably gonna make fun of this. I know I did a little bit, but I think it's a great indicator that you can do whatever you want with your car. And if you like it, who cares? You know what, cars don't all have to fit the same mold. They don't all have to be matte black with the same wheels and the same stance and the same thing. You know, get a little weird. Get, get a little weird uh, paint with some strange colors on the canvas. So. 
is very weird. See you guys later.